<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. I start this phone as now, <laughs> didn't it? I'm about to, oh, never mind. Right, anyway, today we are bringing you the exclusive, the one and only, call it a day. So, it's an extra special bitter from our friends at Vagabond. Comes in at 4.9% ABV, and it was sent to me by my Welsh friend, being Gareth Edmonds. He's the man who's doing the bottle tops on his bar. Anyway, as the story goes, he bottled the Royal Rumble. Um, I did offer him that today because I was a bit behind there. And he made it quite clear last night that this beer that he sent me, and he kindly sent me this, this was on the house. You know, if you get a beer off a Welshman, you're doing well, aren't you? <laughs> so, right. Anyway, this beer was dated 0922. And he made the point last night. I said that everyone that came to his house... He's tried to palm it off on them. <laughs> he's tried to give them that beer. And he couldn't get rid of it, so he sent it to you. <laughs> but he did kindly send me my bow glass as well, because as you, a lot of you know, I do love Gareth Bow. So, right, um, I say, the Welshman really should call it a day, because um, he's done me up like a kipper, hasn't he? Let's be honest, without even trying it. 4.9 extra yep. special bit. Unfiltered and unpasteurised. Mm. And it comes from Berlin. Oh, oh okay. Comes from Berlin. Bit classic if it was good. Oh no, I haven't opened the bottle top up properly, Welshman. Sorry. <laughs> she moans at me when I'm done opening the bottle top top. He's still got some life. He's got some life. More than he has at the moment. <laughs> just saying, just saying, Gareth, my old mucker. So, Gareth Bell, Gareth Edmonds. Right, did a quick shot actually of it. I tell you what, he don't smell too well for you now. I'm not being funny here, but this is not exactly um This is not uh this is not top draw. You know when you just know if the phone ever comes on it'll be a miracle, wouldn't it? Right, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Finally, finally it happened to me. Right, right. Um... so I'll well, tell you what, it's got a nice Jesus. Oh, There's your head on it. I'm gonna show you that side. It's got a proper tooth thing going. Quite a thick, foamy head, isn't it? It has, yeah. <laughs> oh, just, I'm, um, yeah. I'll leave it that I'm to you. I'm scared. <laughs> scared she drinks anything. Oh, so this is the exclusive. Call it a day. Apparently, as the other story came out, he got this free on something he won from Beer Wolf or something. Huh? <laughs> well, it's not off. I really don't want bitter. Oh. <laughs> You've got to taste it. You're not going to taste it from that. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh. oh, it do not even taste like a nice bitter. Um. <laughs> it's just rough, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> like, really rough. Well, a tiny little bit. And um, I must admit, I did have quite a heavy session last night. I put the Welsh, I put our Welsh friend to bed. Normally, when he was having a little bit of a dance, I think we were on the video phone, and he kind of forgot I was there. <laughs> and then you were there. Yeah, then told me he was going to come down London and drink me under the table. Oh. Oh, God, if he could find London, God help us, eh? Um, yeah, that was a <laughs> disgusting, foul aftertaste it's, in that drink. It actually is lingering in my mouth. Um, it's a really Really horrible bitterness that just won't go away. I says I've had a bit of a dry throat today, and like you look, I'm looking at my machines here, and I know Budweiser's not a lot of people's cup of tea now, but I've got a Frankie Royal in there, 
above there and a little lost down there. Which is still a bit left from the keg one bar. Probably not a lot, but you know, maybe a little lost like Rob. But that <sighs> that's criminal. To actually bottle that up. Even if you like dinner. He's supposed to be your friend and he sent you that. Yeah. Like I say, I'm trying to help him build his bottles and everything because that's the sort of guy I am, you know. I'm a nice guy. I send him nice 7.2 exclusive Cronenberg imported from France from my by myself. <laughs> send you that. And he sends me that. Now come on. Is this a friend, people? Oh, um, I thought bitters were supposed to be quite smooth. Oh, just go on, try again. No, One more time. Not. One more time no. for the camera. Come on, what's wrong with you? Oh, just got rid of the horrible aftertaste Come on, last give time. it a chug and I'll do the same thing. Just to be sure. I'll do the same, don't worry. Oh, look at it, my eyes. It's pain in it. It's pain in her. Oh, I can oh. hardly swallow it. Oh. Right, I'm doing it as well. What can I say? Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought things like John Smith were rough. Boardingtons, they are not up. Hatch on rough on that. That oh. is. Um, it's definitely not off. It's just horrible. It's, yeah, it's not off. Ingredients: water, barley malt, hops, and yeast. And eatery malt or something. Yeah, that's the same thing, but in a different language. What barley I am. So it's only got five ingredients. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not pleasant. Um, not mild, pleasant. extra special bitter. It's actually a Dunkel bitter. Do you know that? How mad is that? Mm. It's actually a Dunkel bit. It comes from Germany and Dunkel means dark. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? Mm. I've never seen that written on a bit of though. Extra special, mild. That is the most foul tasting crap that I've subjected myself for a long time. I've been fortunate on the channel lately due to listening to people and then other things, and we haven't had no rubbish, have we, for ages? We haven't had anything that's been really bad for a long time. There's been nothing that's like, that is literally, that's, that's diabolical. That's really the only is not, word not I can say that. I'm going to get my scorecard out because it merits a score. It merits a score because everything should be scored. And as for the Welshman, if he's a friend, well, I don't need enemies, people. <laughs> That's the truth. It's a fucking <laughs> it's a zero. It's zero. <laughs> it's zero. none. It's a double nine. Hold on, let me get a bit screenshot of that for him. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom. <laughs> he deserves that, doesn't he? So, <laughs> that, that beer deserves that. Yeah. It's not pleasant. If you're still here and you do have any bottle tops, please get in contact with me or Gareth Edwards. Um, there's a video, there's a short on. I'll try and put a link on this at some point, isn't it? Yeah. There is a shoot on where um, it shows you his bar, and it's, it's much higher now, but he still needs about 4,500 bottle tops. Yeah. So, if anyone can help, he doesn't deserve it, but I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I wouldn't send someone this, not my worst enemy. But he did, and let's move on. It's a zero. Enjoy your weekend. Bonjour.